All right, guys, this device, the GPD Win 2, this is actually one of my favorite devices now. Um, so in my review of the GPD Win, I mentioned some things I liked about it, didn't like about it. This fixes almost all the things I didn't like about it. So if you look at the size comparison again, uh, it's slightly bigger than the Nintendo 3DS and the um, GPD XD Plus, but it is way more powerful. Uh, one of the things I like about it, the specs on it, it runs a Core M3 processor. I mean, finally, right? I've been talking about why can't you guys make a UMPC that run on the Core M3? Don't make it run on the crappy Intel Atom, you know, all the different UMPCs I've seen, like the GPD Pocket even, runs on the crappy Intel Atom processor. It doesn't really sh save you that much TDP anyways. Why not just use the Core M, right? So this one finally gets it right, runs on the Core M3 processor. 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD, and the SSD is even removable. Look at that. M2 SSD, and it's removable um, just from the, from the back here. You don't have to unscrew the whole back plate or anything. That's, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, this is probably the most powerful UMPC, I guess, that you can get right now. It's more powerful than the Pocket uh, for sure, but the Pocket 2 is coming up. Probably not going to get that, though. Uh, but the Win 2, man. Look at the keyboard. This keyboard is an improvement over the GPD Win 1 in every way. You remember how in my GPD Win 1 review I said, uh, this keyboard is kind of crap. It looks like they pulled it from an Amazon, uh, you know, one of those cheap Bluetooth mini keyboards that you can get for 20 bucks from Amazon and just stuck it onto the case. Not anymore. This keyboard is much, much better. It's like, <clears throat> I would say it's the number one, the number one improvement uh, on here besides like the, the the CPU upgrade from an Atom to a Core M3 is the the keyboard here is so much better. Like, oh, it's just so much better to click with. Everything, the feel, the tactile sensation, much easier to press all the buttons in here. It's better spaced. Like, it's just so much better than GPD-1. Right? The GPD-1 had the cheap Bluetooth mini keyboard thing and um, it just kind of sucked, but this one, the keyboard's so much better. I can use it for typing and stuff. Well, I'm not sure if I would type with it for a long time, but anyways, it's it's definitely an improvement. Uh, power button right in the middle now. You have the normal switch here from mouse to uh, the, the X input, Xbox input right there. And then you got the uh, dual analog sticks, D-pad, which is the same D-pad, I guess, they use in the GPD-XD. Not much different here. The face button's right here. Um, but yeah, the keyboard is, is just so much better. Um, the screen is 6 inches. By the way, the GPD XD Plus is 5 inches. 6 inches, uh, 720p. So it's not full HD, but that's fine. I think I can still run some pretty good games on it. Um, and uh, 120 SSD, uh, you can swap it out. And um, full size USB 3 right here, as long as USB C charger, that's the same as original. Um, then, of course, you have headphone jack, micro SD card slot, and you have, instead of mini HDMI, you have micro HDMI now. Then you have an extra trigger button, I think. So you have L1, L2, and um, now you have R3 and L3 as well. So you have an extra trigger button. That's cool. So uh, yeah, this is GPD Win 2. And it's, uh, I think it's a major improvement over the uh, original GPD Win. So let's play some uh, games on it. Now, I don't really use this for any recent games or anything. Uh, I think there have been demonstrations of it playing like Skyrim, GTA, uh, GTA 5, I mean. Um, so yeah, I guess you can play all those games with it, but I just used to play my DOS games, of course, which is really good at. But it's made so much better because the keyboard is so much better, right? And DOS games usually use the keyboard. So uh, that's a huge advantage. Let's look at Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Let's do that. <clears throat> Capcom. Okay. Whoa. What's this? Okay. Maybe seven, eight, nine, or ten. Let's go with. Um. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Let's 
I figure out my controls. Uh, I haven't played this one for too much. Yeah, so uses this one uses the gamepad buttons to move around. Oh, okay, it uses Z and X. All right, let's play some Mega Man. Yeah, I'm mostly going to use this for uh, retro Windows games and stuff, but you can also put emulators and stuff on it. So this basically is a superset of the GPD, the GPD XD because this can run... I mean, this runs Windows, right? If it runs Windows, then it can run a lot more applications than, uh, than Android since it has all the legacy applications as well. So of course you can do everything you can with the GPD XD. That means you can run... Emulators in addition to DOS games, in addition to Windows 9X and um, Windows games, you know. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So let's quit here. Yeah, but this also costs a lot more. The uh, XT Plus costs about two hundred fifty bucks. This one costs. Well, I got it off of Indiegogo for six fifty, but. Um, I think online you could, it's much more, it's like 800 bucks or something like that. So expect this, this device to cost more than the GPD-XD, which makes sense because this is a lot more powerful. And this can run basically anything the GPD-XD can run plus more because it runs full on, full on Windows. So uh, that's, I guess, to be expected. This is a UMPC after all that runs core, on a Core M processor. So it's probably the most powerful UMPC you can get right now. Um, and yeah, that's that's why it's expensive. Let's do uh, Quake Three. Where are you, Quake Three? Oh yeah. All right. Oh shoot. Quick 3 is always a classic to play on something like this. Shoot. New rocket launcher. The plasma gun's fine. Oh my god. Oh, he had a rocket launcher. Oh, here's mine. Where are you? What? Oh man. Okay, I'm not good at this game then. <laughs> Getting killed. I want to get at least one kill in. Give me one kill. Where is he? Sneaky.
Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Alright, anyways. Yep, that's quick three. The guy keeps getting the stupid armor. Alright, let's try uh, Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem World Tour. Actually, we'll do uh, the Alien World Order. Let's do the new one. Let's rock. Yep, Duke Nukem 3D works well. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, 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 where is it? <laughs> I don't have the keys. Blue access card required. Alright, uh, yeah, that's Duke Nukem 3D, just to show you guys how it looks, um, 20th, the uh, 20th anniversary edition anyways, uh, just to show you guys how it looks on here, and I think you can play like, you can play like much more powerful games as well, you can play like Fallout, I'm not sure Fallout 4, but you can play uh, Fallout New Vegas, I think, and uh, maybe, maybe Deus Ex Human Revolution, I haven't tried those yet. Uh, let's try Apogee Throw Backpack. Play some classic Blake Stone. Yes. DOS box this. Okay, this is probably something that's not optimized for wide widescreen, which is why it's like this. Yeah, still one of my favorite games, Blakestone. Okay. So this actually works with DOSBox. Interesting. Okay, that works. Oh, Foreman said to kill Blakestone. Alright, so I think I'd rather use, this is something, because it's DOS box, um, I have to use the keyboard, and that's where the better keyboard of the Win 2 comes in handy. So much better than the Win 1. It's for use with DOS games. Okay, I got some food tokens, now I need to... Bang, bang. Yeah, the vending machine. That's what I needed. Die! Oh shoot. Oh shoot! <laughs> Alright, so that's Blake Stone. Um, try, um, we tried Platformer, some FPS games. Oh, Iron Maiden is another good one. One of those retro style games, even though it was made fairly recently. Pretty cool though. Come on. 
Okay, now this one, because it's a modern game, actually takes control of the, uh, has full support for the controls and everything, not like DOSBox. We're dead. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's use this. Oh man, another one. Where is he? I see. All right, guys, so that's Ion Maiden. Give you an example of, uh, Another kind of retro style modern game, I guess. Okay, Slave Zero looks like yeah, it looks like it works. Okay. Okay, Slave Zero looks like it works pretty well. Everything's supported. Alright, that's awesome. Okay. Your controls are a little bit quirky, but it works for the most part. Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, okay, that's Slave Zero. Guess that's working. All right, uh, what's another DOS box game? I can try Bio Menace. Okay, let's go with Bio Menace. Yep, this one works better. Do, 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 do. Bye.
Bio Menace is a pretty tough game. I used, I beat this a lot when I was uh, when I was young though. <laughs> That's because I had more time when I was young. Oh shoot. See how cheap is that? Just die by walking. <clears throat> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, stop my machine gun. That's good. This is where the good keyboard comes in handy. I had to press enter to throw the grenade. Oh, come on. Alright guys, uh, that's Bio Menace. Alright, um, what haven't we tried? We haven't tried a real-time strategy game like StarCraft, right? Alright, let's try StarCraft Remastered. That's a RTS game we can play on here. Nice old-school game. And uh, we can also see how well this works with the uh, analog stick acting as the mouse. Let's do single player. Oh, I'm gonna do brood war. Why not? I like Protoss. So uh, yeah, I think this this works well. You select it. Graphics are nice. Uh, 720p might seem a little bit low to you guys, considering this is the age of 4K displays and everything like that. But um, because the screen is only six inches, whoops, I accidentally attacked my onion. Um, because the screen is only six inches, uh, I think it's fine. Intaro Adun. So obviously this is not going to be as good as a keyboard and mouse, but it's definitely playable. Definitely playable. I wouldn't recommend it for multiplayer, but for single player, it's fine. Alright, so that's StarCraft, and uh, yeah, that's the GPD Win 2. Guys, I showed off a bunch of games already. Um, yeah, another thing is uh, that's kind of cool that you can do with the uh, Win 2 is you can 
use the D-pad and it'll actually scroll up and down on the web page. So that's kind of useful. Um, and also, it also works in Steam as well. So if you have a, a large amount of Steam games like I do, then uh, that's pretty useful. You don't have to, because the, the cursor, you know, is uh, so small on the screen and you're using the uh, analog stick to operate it. Sometimes I find it better just to use the D-pad to scroll up and down rather than using the, cur the cursor and then dragging the scroll bar. That's a little bit tedious. Uh, but yeah, that's the GPD uh, Win 2. This is actually my favorite UMPC or a Windows device now. Uh, and I'm speaking as a guy who has a lot of um, UMPCs. You know, I have the GPD Pocket, I have the uh, you know obscure ones. I have the Vulcan Flip Start. I have the Open Pandora. I have a whole bunch of different uh, Windows gaming machines, portable ones, and um, the GPD Win 2 is the best one so far. It has a Core M processor, eight gigs of RAM, a swappable SSD. Um, it has all the ports you want: USB C, um, USB 3. You know, uh, and yeah, this is probably the most powerful uh, Windows-based handheld you can buy right now. So uh, check it out, guys. GPD Win 2, it's a little bit expensive. Uh, it's about 800 or more right now, but that's because this is the most powerful Windows-based handheld you can buy right now. More powerful than GPD Pocket, than my Fujitsu's, than the, uh, you know, my old ones, my old Sony UX's, my Okio Model 2, my Vulcan Flipstart. It's more powerful than any of them. And compact everything the keyboard is awesome and uh you know all the gamepad and stuff is there if you're looking for a computer just for like a netbook kind of thing then the gpd pocket is better but if you're looking for one to play windows games dos games and stuff can't get better than this this is a yeah you can't you can't get better than gpd win 2 this is the the best one you can get buy, buy on the market right now highly recommend it um and uh yeah that's it guys uh, thanks for watching and um, subscribe if you like these kind of videos.